do not lose interest now in the crypto space this is exactly what i am going to show you so that you can prepare for the greatest bull run of your life guys welcome back to the crypto bliss show i'm kiara de Cass. let's rock on with this video today i have quite a few charts i'm going to share with you so thank you for being here with me and i hope you guys are absolutely feeling powerful and blessed to the crypto bliss community you guys are absolutely wonderful and incredible we hit that 1k mark already i guess the next and i'm truly blessed and truly grateful to the special community out there i really appreciate all you guys you know getting to that first 1000 i guarantee you is a better feeling than getting to a million <laughs> so um, although getting to a million would be an incredible milestone so really thank you very much for all of you beautiful souls truly appreciate every single last one of you guys let's not waste any more time in this video okay i'm jumping straight into the charts today we have a lot to talk about this is incredible what i'm about to show you for me this is one of the best times that you could be investing into bitcoin more specifically not necessarily altcoins right now even though i do speak about certain altcoins altcoins are still bleeding at the moment um, but that doesn't mean that it's not a, an averagely okay time to buy them i'm still stacking i'm still hodling i'm still gonna hodl and i'm still gonna put more capital into these coins over due course and due time so do not miss out on that opportunity because in this video i'm going to show you exactly why i believe that we have already started the bull run and that we have a decent amount of time to go before the end of the next bull cycle which we have already started so and this is of course bearing in mind any black swan event that may happen a recession that may happen there are certain things that i feel and look at on the charts that are showing me that we are definitely bitcoin seems to be decoupling from the s p from all of these other assets that have that it has been coupled to for its entire life so this is the moment for bitcoin to shine and that's why i believe that this bull cycle is going to be the biggest bull cycle in the history of bitcoin guys love you all let's delve right into this so first of all let's have a look at my usual daily check-in chart here okay you can see where we are we had a yesterday we had a little bit of a dump here but you can see we're still in this kind of triangle formation over here okay guys i drew this line first because that's where resistance was then i drew this line because that's where support was so we were pulling down through it yesterday but then we pulled back up so if this candle here today ends up crashing through it the likelihood of us pulling down to this kind of level over here because of this down sloping resistance over there that's where we would end up looking for bitcoin price about twenty six thousand six hundred. okay now it's not impossible for it to go down there but is it likely at this point i'm going to show you a few different charts and a few different scenarios now the Dixie yesterday didn't close in the green. You can see over here, we actually did not close in the green yesterday. This is technically a reversal candle, okay? But this is a candle to show that we're going down. So for me, I think we're about to have a little bit of a reversal happen on the dollar up to this level, create a new lower high, and then we reject and then break this low here to come and basically fall down through this level. So that's what I personally think could happen to the dollar but i want to go and show you a number of different charts that i've set out and i've laid out for you guys first chart is being this one okay you can see here i've shown you this chart a few times there are boom okay literally triangle 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 breakout triangle breakout triangle breakout triangle breakout and every single time okay my red lines are five months down 17 months up two months down um uh, 24 months up 22 months down, 27 months up, 13 months down, uh, 11 months up, 21 months down, guys. And the average is 19 months up and 12.6 months down. Now, February 25 to May 25 is where we're probably expecting the peak end of the bull cycle. Some people are saying September 25. Some people are saying September 26. 
I don't know, but what I'm looking at is the charts and what, where I'm looking, what I'm looking for is what is actually going on in the charts. So you can see here, this horizontal line is uh, acted as support, support, and then broke through here, the support level and was resisted. And then we hit resistance, hit resistance, and then we are now here. So right now my triangle, as you can see here, my ascending triangle, because it's got an upward sloping trend, essentially, is due to break out by January 22nd, okay? So that is very, very interesting on January um, uh, 22nd, 2024. So without a doubt, Bitcoin would have finally broken out of this level and we would potentially see some incredible um, momentum. Now, guys, personally, I think it's going up and the charts say that. Uh, so I don't think, I know it's going up. It's just a matter of time, okay? So you can see here, there's two things that I need you guys to look at. This is higher high price action. This is lower low price action. Now I always bring this up for you guys because higher high in price action and lower 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 highs um, on the RSI is actually called regular divergence and it's bearish divergence. That So this here, is bearish divergence. Now, if I have to go and I have to look at the more recent price action, you can see here, okay, that the price is getting higher and higher, basically, okay? The price action is getting higher and the RSIs are getting lower and lower. So, what does that look like? Well, price action getting higher and um, um, RSI action going lower, which is hidden divergence bullish divergence. So we had the bearish divergence and I'm wondering if this was the action or the consequence of that bearish divergence, essentially because the RSI pulled down during that moment as well. I'd love to know if you're a, a phenomenal trader and watching this video, what your thoughts are down below. I'd love to know. Um, then you can see the latest action is actually, okay, well, we've developed that. So is there some bullish action coming? Well, last week's candle pretty much closed in some sort of resistance. Okay, that is okay. Let it close in a little bit of resistance under this level because cool, we can come and we can fall all the way back down here to 25,600 and still be okay for bullish uh, move up, guys. But by that time, I don't think we're going to pull down to this level. But if we do, it's okay. But if we do, we start breaking this low here, which we don't want to break, okay? Because that may then cause price action to cascade down to 22,000 and possibly even 20,000, okay? So we want Bitcoin to hold this bearish ascending pattern right here. I mean, sorry, bullish ascending pattern, okay? The next chart here, all right, you can, oh, so it's the same chart, excuse me. Uh, I must have had two charts open for you. Okay, the reason I think I had two charts open for you is actually because on the one chart, I had the MA cross, uh, 50 and 200 moving average cross. Now, okay, don't worry about it for now. I'll show you on another chart. Okay, but basically you can see here, guys, this is my other chart that I have for you. You can see where I long ago put resistance one, resistance two, resistance three, and resistance four. Okay. We're still tapping on resistance one. So of course we're not broken out yet. And guys, once we break out of resistance one, no doubt we're going to bust up to this level like I already drew for you all the way up at 38k, probably pull back down to this level of the 30k level before making a strong move up to the top side. So, guys, if you don't believe that Bitcoin is bullish, well, this is the long and short-term holder threshold, which is from James von Straten. To me, this is the most bullish Bitcoin chart, but, um, but the next cycle might be different. So long-term versus short-term holders, 15,852,000 versus 2,378,000, the greatest divergence ever recorded. Both are at all-time highs or at lows. Speculation is the lowest it has ever been. So you can see here, um, these are the highs. You can come and read this if you like. But basically here, the red line is the short-term holder supply. 
So short-term holders are not interested in Bitcoin at the moment, and they're actually, they've exited, okay? And remember that short-term holders actually sell to long-term holders, okay? And that is why long-term holders has actually been accumulating here while the, um, the short-term holders have been selling. So the short-term holders don't actually know what they're doing unless they're trading in and out of the market, which is okay. Um, but essentially, as you can see here, long-term holders are still holding hardcore Bitcoin, guys. Do not believe the FUD that is going out there because when there is the most amount of FUD and the most amount of noise, that's the time of the highest fear. And that's the time you should be actually dollar cost averaging the most amount into your positions. No financial advice. And please, on my little chart, on my little um, images here, you can go ahead and if you want to trade He's with me. You can click on my Bitflix link over here and you can click on my Bybit link, but they are pinned for you down in the comments below of this video. Now, and guys, if you're enjoying the content, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. I truly appreciate every single one of you for subscribing. I really feel so awesome and so excited about it. It feels like I'm now starting from scratch again. I've got to work my way from a thousand to the next target, which I would say would be um, a modest 2000. So double your numbers every time, right? So let's do this crypto bliss community. All right, so we've shown you that one. Then I have this chart to show you from um, a chart. This is where I actually drew my moving averages. So let's get your moving averages on here quickly, guys. Just give me a moment. Um, what is going on here? Okay, close you, no problem. I need to check what's going on there, why that's not working. Okay, but. I want to show you this, okay? Because right now, what we're seeing here is we have the golden cross and price action continued to move up. Um, supposedly, we may be about to have a death cross, okay? But what happens if it doesn't even get to that point? Because you can see the RSI is very, very overbought right now on the daily time frame. So maybe there is a little uh, due for a time for a due for a pullback. But I want to say to you that it looks as though this is something that could happen here. This is the cross that we're having. Perhaps we get a bit of a bullish momentum. Maybe there's some sort of black swan event and then the cross, the golden cross happens once again. So I don't know. You don't know. We don't know. All we have to do is make sure that while Bitcoin is currently sitting under this tight resistance level here of the 31,000, 30, 30K level, you should be just dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin. And if you're not, I do not know what you guys Oh, I do know what you guys will be missing out on. I, I don't know if you know what you'll be missing out on. Here is another chart that I wanted to share with you. This is the um, Bitcoin index. Now, what you can see here is that this is the time where we have cycle three. So you can see the blues are the tops and the greens are the bottoms. The whites are the halving points. So you can see there, we haven't come up to this halving point here just yet. And it hasn't been placed in into this chart just yet. Now, I think this chart hasn't been updated because this was the last updated in February 22. But you guys can see here that the risk, the high risk levels, look at the risk levels that we're seeing here that are potentially within this chart. Right now, the risk is 0 0.5, which is not much. And, and this is almost at the all time high of Bitcoin. The risk to have to, to have Bitcoin at that price is very low still. Only once it starts going past that, does it become risky again. And that's why when we look at certain metrics in Bitcoin, we need to know what it is that we're looking out for. Such as an example, this is the Bitcoin mempool, number of transactions by relative fees. Now, what is the mempool? So very, very quickly, mempools, full mempools are inscriptions um, that have had a major consumer of Bitcoin block space since their introduction in Feb 23. So this is on-chain activity for the mempools, okay? And as you can see here, since May, we have had the largest amount of volume um, and emergence of inscriptions and ordinals coming into play. This is still busy happening, guys. It is still exploding. Transactions are more than they have ever been, guys. If you do not see this and you do not see that people are getting into their positions now, I don't know what you're going to, well, poof, guys, you're going to be missing out on a lot. And this is from um, Into the Cryptoverse. So this is a price 
color coded by risk levels. So obviously blue being the lowest level of risk. And right now the latest level of risk is 0 0.53. And I heard um, that uh, on the altcoin daily video today from CryptoQuant that actually he would only invest at under 0 0.4. So we're not there. He still believes that we could come to that 0 0.4. But guys, you can see here, this is my case for the bottom already. That's where I believe we are hitting the bottom. Look at this. Bottom, 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 guys. The blues are the bottom and it is a good time. Now, I want to say to you that we're already coming into the yellow, which means that we're starting to get into a territory where like it might be getting into the territory where it's possibly a little bit later. And as you can see down here, this is a 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 risk ratio. So, you know, you want to be selling your Bitcoin, some portions, taking some profits of your Bitcoin when, it, when the risk is at its highest, which is at anything from 0 0.7 right up to one point. Okay, I love this. I think it's an incredible chart. And you guys should go over to in, into the Cryptoverse and go and check out that chart. I want to show you a few other charts. This is the Bitcoin narrative, um, and this is from Gareth Soloway as well, um, and from Ben. So let's go and have a look at this. Let's just say the US, US and, and its citizens just finally say enough is enough. And we literally go to kind of a crypto type digital currency that can't be printed, that the government does not have the ability, like maybe it expands by 5% a year, like there's a stated expansionary ability um which would potentially fix this ability for politicians to just spend whenever they want yeah i mean i think it's probably one of the bull cases for things like bitcoin but i mean that's bitcoin that doesn't mean that all the altcoins are gonna True. you know go with it and and you know someone the other day someone said that um you know the narratives uh, in the last cycle were, were this this and this i'm like no bitcoin is the narrative a lot of other things sort of tag along for the ride yeah. And, and there, there is value in those other things. But the truth is that if Bitcoin didn't exist, those other things would have never even been created. Let's just say. Okay. So what did you think about that? Because as you can hear, Bitcoin is the narrative. You do not want to miss out on this current opportunity right now to be investing into Bitcoin. Make sure you're investing in Bitcoin using my links down below. You guys will get an incredible bonus there there's tens of thousands of dollars of bonus waiting for you right down there now this is a chart from stock money lizards uh bitcoin what if happened what if we are already here so what are you saying is this is the 2020 pre bull run this was the failed breakout boom we failed and we broke back below then there's a b c pattern before an incredibly powerful launch off this was the failed breakout before a drop a b c pattern are we about to start to see a massive climb in the bitcoin price shooting up to that 38k level that i previously showed you on my charts let me know what you guys think down below because the more information i'm bringing to you here the more information you can actually see that bitcoin is extraordinarily bullish right now and that we have already started the bull cycle where did we start the bull cycle guys we started the bull cycle down um uh towards the end of the year i'm uh, sorry the beginning of the year down here this was the start of the bull cycle okay this is my personal belief as to where we started the bull cycle i showed you this inverse head and shoulders pattern which the target is um the the target is at that this major target is actually way up here at the 48k level and then i showed you this inverse head and shoulders pattern which is starting to play out a little bit better okay and that target is up here at the 38k level guys so for me we are already we already hit the bottom okay we've already pulled back substantial amounts over here right now so that is showing me incredible bullish signs now i'm not a perma bull okay although i would love to be a perma bull but if you're coming to look at charts like this where the log bottom and oversold rsi are only going to allow very limited downside which is what i've shown you throughout this entire video guys there is very very little space for us to move to the downside you need to be aware of this right now because i've shown you this bitcoin 
rainbow chart before. And right now we're basically in a fire sale and in a buy and accumulation point. We're not even in the, the green side of things yet. Okay. This is where we're currently at. Okay. Guys, you're not, do not miss out on this opportunity. Look at where we're at. Every single time we were down here in the purple, we slowly ground our way up until eventually we made this crazy pump right up to the top side. And let me point something out to you that I've previously pointed out. This previous bull cycle top that we hit here, we didn't even get into that very harsh maximum bubble territory in Bitcoin. And that's what I believe is going to happen personally. I believe we're going to have a bull run that's very similar to 2013 from down here, smashing through the top side of this, which in my personal view, I agree with Mr. Arthur Hayes, like I showed you guys in this video over here, where he's talking about a 750,000 to 1 million Bitcoin for the end of the next cycle. Now, I like those numbers, but my personal target was 285 to $300,000 Bitcoin, guys. They're modest. All of us have different views and different outlooks on this. So, of course, that's what makes your own perception your perception. It doesn't mean that my perception is right or your perception is right. The charts will eventually speak for themselves once they play out. Guys, I truly appreciate every single last one of you. Please make sure if you have not yet subscribed to my channel and are watching this video to please go ahead and smash the subscription bell and hit the notification bell so that you know when I do video, more videos like this, I've got some cool video, other altcoin videos coming out for you uh, guys over the next couple of days, today especially. Make sure not to miss out on the opportunity to see those. Love you all and hit my Bitflex and my Bybit links pinned in the comments down below just for you guys. Much love, beautiful blessings. Make sure to watch this, these crazy videos because these videos were even better than this one. Love you all. We'll see you on the next one, special souls.